Hi, I'm the Adobe Guy, and this is the third in the series of uh, my AutoCAD stuff, um, just to do with the uh, dynamic blocks, and this one's to do with extracting data from those dynamic blocks. So here we are on AutoCAD, and still working on the same block that we had earlier, the desk. Uh, the only thing I've done now is I've changed it slightly again. So we have the lookup for the desk size, and I've also made a lookup for flipping the desk from a left hand to a right hand. Um, you'll understand why when we actually get into the data extraction, because I want to know if it's a, a left hand or a right hand, rather than just if it's flip state one or flip state two. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert a table. Now, it's asking me what type of table. I want to do it from object data in the drawing. So I click on this one here, and then say OK. And it's going to say, what do I want to use? So I'm going to create a new data extraction. And I'm just going to save it on the desktop. I'm going to overwrite this desk types one that I created earlier. Do I want to replace it? Yes, I do. OK, what's it going to do? Well, it's going to select all the objects in this drawing. yeah. If I click this one, I can then click on there and go into the drawing and select specific objects. But if you imagine this is an office space with 200 desks in it, um, I probably want to select the whole drawing rather than just one or two desks within it. Click on Next and it comes up and I just want to select the desk, which is a block which I created called Desk. and I'm just going to go into next. Now from the categories that are available, I don't need all of this information. I'm just going to look for the information from the dynamic block. And the two things I'm going to look for are lookup one and lookup two. So I'm not going to have those two because they're rather spurious distances. And all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to rename what the display name is. So I'm going to change this one to uh, length and this one's just the, the whether it's left or right Let's do left or right and click on next let's see how that will look okay this is how it will be displayed um, at the moment it's showing me the count which is useful because I want to know how many I've got so I can show or not have that one by that um, it's telling me the name, so it's a desk. It's telling me the length and whether it's left or right handed. Yeah. Um, show the column name. Well, I know they're all desks, so I don't necessarily need that. If I were running this table and including different things, so desks but also chairs, then I might want to keep desks as the column count, but actually, no, I don't, not, not in this case. Um, I do have combine identical rows because I don't want each instance of an 800 left hand to come up as a separate column. I just want a total count there. So I'd normally have either this one or that one ticked. Okay, let's see how that looks. Now what I want to do is I want to insert the data extraction table into the drawing. In this instance, the other option is to output it to an external file, uh, for example, a database or Excel spreadsheet. Um, this can be an incredibly useful way of finding out where your furniture is. And then click next. Um, I'm just going to use this, the defaults for now. So click next and finish. Where do I want it to go? I'm just going to zoom out and click there. Okay, I have at the moment one 800 left hand desk. Okay, let's see what happens when I put some more in. So I'm going to insert some more blocks. And in fact, I'll do it the easy way. And let's put them in some different positions. So we've got some various different sizes and flips there. And let's give us a, a 1200 upside down as well. OK, so that's a, a very random office space there. Now it hasn't changed in my table. 
However, if I select the table, right click on it, and now what I'm looking for is update the table data links. If I do that, my new table is now telling me I've got three 1,000 left-handeds, which are that one, two, and three. I have an 800 left hand, and these are right hands. So I've got one of a thousand a right hand. I've got one of 1,200 right hand. So this last one here is my 1,200 left hand. Now, like I say, you can export that to Excel as well. So you can very easily show what type of furniture, particularly office desks, you have on a certain floor or within a certain room within your building. I hope that's been useful to you. I'm the Adobe Guy. Thanks again for listening.